Hey everyone, uh, right now I am actually in the middle of cleaning my dog's area. It is a big mess. I have some CDs and DVDs and stuff that I need to put away. I have a shelfie next to their dog area now. And then these are boxes of stuff that I need to throw out. It's just a big mess. And um, here's the keels. And then Miss Frida, she is playing with my son right now. He just got home from school. And there's Scarlet. And then we have some tools and stuff over there and then here I gotta go through this bin of stuff I wanna get rid of a lot of this stuff so that's on the agenda today um, but in the meantime I'm gonna give you a quick update on their food right now they are on blue buffalo the wilderness rocky mountain recipe with red meat and this is for small breed um, I switched them over maybe about a month month and a half ago because uh, wellness for some reason wasn't filling them up as it normally would and I would find that they were sorry I was moving my foot I was finding that they were really really hungry um, a lot of the time and I didn't want to overfeed them um, so I switched over to this but this is a really good um, brand as well and I've been liking it and no this video is not sponsored in any way or anything I just wanted to share what um, I've been giving them and then for Scarlet, it hasn't been really liking dry food a lot, so I got these Caesar Classics, and then I just get one of these and divide it like into um, in half, I should say, and then I give it to her with her food or a quarter of a cup, and then just mix this up. This is just to keep her, you know, a little bit with something in her belly, because she, I don't know, she's been going through a stage of just being picky. Okay, so next to that we have um, the Dental Authority. You probably heard me talk about these in previous videos. Um, the chicken flavor. Um, these are great, great treats for them. And they have calcium. Really, really good. Has kept their teeth healthy. And then they love these Purina bacon strips. The bacon and cheese flavor. They absolutely love these. I had to buy a new bag the other day. Um, but I just had that as backup. They like these. I got these in a bark box. These are ham and cheese as Sammy's. Um, Achilles loves these. They are flavor, grain free. Um, they're real natural and I don't know. They love them so it's good. Okay and then Achilles and Scarlet. They also love these. Um, these are the lamb and honey flavored seaside snacks and they're just little itty bitty bites you consume in there. Um, I just give it to them at night before they go to bed just for a little treat. And then Akil's gets one of these a daily. Um, these are the Milo's Kitchen, made in the USA, duck jerky recipe. He absolutely loves these. So that is all that I'm giving them right now that they're on their diet for. Um, nothing extra. The little snacks are just kind of here and there extra. But their main food is this one. And then for Scarlet, it's the Blue Buffalo and the Classic Caesars. So... Um, I have some other extras in this drawer that I need to go through, um, but I'm trying to get all this organized and rearrange things because it's, it's a disaster. Hi, Popeyes. Hi, Popeyes. I have them in their crate because they're running around right now and they wouldn't let me clean up in here. They were wanting to get into the dog food. Um, and I usually store their dog food in that container, a plastic one, and then it has this plastic round lid. They sell them, um, at a lot of places. I've seen them at... Petco, PetSmart, um, I saw some at Marshalls, but I got mine at PetSmart when they were on sale uh, about two years ago. But it keeps their food fresh and no bugs, no ants, nothing gets in there. I absolutely love that. And then for the dog treats, I just keep them in these little five-tier plastic drawers. So I'm going to clean up real quick and tidy this up because I can't stand this. This is not normally how my house is. And... Hope you all don't get that impression, but um, it's been a rough, hectic couple of weeks, and that's why I haven't been filming, but um, the good news is I'm graduating, so I'm going to tidy up, clean up, and then I'll get back to you.
I finally got that little area clean. I just need to put the toolbox away. Um, this post is um, the lighting I have and then the towels which I'm going to give the dogs a bath. Um, but I just put that frame, that plant I had on this window and then this is where Achilles sleeps and then here I have this pile of stuff I'm going to probably sell or give away. I'm not sure yet. And then I just moved up the dog food here for now and then all the drawers are ready and set and then Scarlett's bed. I, all I need to do is just vacuum and then these are the little dental treats. I got this container at TJ Maxx and then that is it. It's so much better and I'm so happy I got it done. And then I always keep that extension right here, this cord um, with all the extra plug plugins. Um, that way like when I'm blow drying her hair or trimming their nails or you know using the nail cutter or just some trimmers whatever's electronic I just connect it to that and then obviously like I said I do film here um, sometimes for my other main channel and um, so that's basically the rundown of it but I think just pretty simple I moved Akil's up this way um, Scarlett doesn't like him next to her like too close she gets really Ugh, aggravated because she's obviously not in heat or any of the above and even though he got neutered he's still after her so right now they're outside and then this Sherpa bag is going to go in my car um, I'm planning to take Scarlett probably for a walk tomorrow at the park so I want to put her in there and so yeah that is it so anyways thank you so much for watching y'all have a great day and stay tuned for more videos love from Scarlett the Yorkshire bye